We are in the middle of a set of experiments to demonstrate how to generate a product using biotechnology. First, we engineered E. coli to make green fluorescent protein. Next, we confirmed insertion of our gene of interest using colony PCR and agarose gel electrophoresis. Next, we will generate GFP using cell culture, followed by purification using chromatography and protein characterization using SDS page. For this part of the experiment, we will be starting our GFP cell culture in shake flasks. We will be using LB media that contains 100 micrograms of ampicillin per milliliter to keep non-transformed E. coli from growing and 0.1 millimolar IPTG to induce GFP production. Add 5 to 10 E. coli colonies from your plus DNA, AMP, IPTG plate to your flask. If you did not have a successful transformation, you can use a neighbor's plate or the instructor's GFP control plate. Place the flask into a clamp in the 37 degrees Celsius shaking incubator. Run the cell culture for 48 hours. Depending on space availability in the incubator, you should run duplicate or triplicate flasks from your plate. This concludes this protocol. In the next lesson, we will finish our cell culture and begin the process of GFP purification. Hey, we hope you like this video. This is part of the series GFP production for my bioprocess engineering class. I'd like to acknowledge the kit from Edvotech, Edvokit number 303, Exploring Biotechnology with Green Fluorescent Protein, GFP, which provided many of our materials for this project. Click the link below to visit the kit website.